Hi there, today a topic on the environment. Let's talk about an animal called a beaver, B-E-A-V-E-R, and the effect it has on its environment, its habitat. Today, discover how the hardworking beaver contributes to the richness of wildlife and plants in its habitat. You could think of beavers as nature's engineers. So this is English language listening practice, with a broad topic of the environment and we'll get on to something called rewilding, which is a really interesting idea in ecology, something that's gaining momentum. This will give you some great vocabulary and some great practice on a lovely topic. You may have come across the word beaver, a type of animal, in podcast 718, where I was talking about animal idioms recently. So there are eager beavers, or we beaver away in English, or we can be busy as a beaver. These are all idioms which talk about the animal a beaver and its busyness. So let's talk about actual beavers today and why they're important for ecology and the environment. The Adept English podcast is like a box of chocolates, to quote Tom Hanks. You never know what you're going to get. And I've included a link in the transcript to the BBC news items, which were my inspiration for this podcast, so that you can read them too. So you could listen to the podcast to get the basic vocabulary and then to test yourself, have a go at reading these news items and see how much you can understand. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Hilary and you're listening to Adept English. We will help you to speak English fluently. All you have to do is listen. So start listening now and find out how it works. Imagine stepping into a time machine and travelling back to a world untouched by human hands. A world where nature thrives in its purest form and the air is filled with the sounds of wildlife. Welcome to the idea of rewilding. Rewilding is one of the most interesting ideas to come out of ecology in the last few years. Rewilding means returning the land back to its wild and natural state. The adjective wild, W-I-L-D, can mean all sorts of things, but in this context, where we're talking about nature, it means unspoilt by the effects of human beings. What the land was like before we messed it up, in other words. When I go for a walk locally, sometimes I look out from a hillside over the landscape and I try to imagine what it would look like without the presence of human beings. That can be quite difficult to imagine in some places. So the notion of rewilding is where you restore a piece of land back to its original natural state and you support it, possibly reintroducing animals that lived there in times gone by in the past. The animals that should live there, in other words, and which have disappeared. And you support this environment until it can take care of itself which it usually does if you've reintroduced the right animals and the right conditions. What a wonderful idea. And let's go with the story of beavers, nature's engineers, and the contribution that beavers make to restoring wetland habitat. So beavers, B-E-A-V-E-R-S, as in the idiom an eager beaver, podcast 718. Beavers are very busy animals that live around water. What are they up to? What are beavers busy with? Well, the building of dams. That's their obsession. Dams, D-A-M-S, are structures which are designed to hold back water. Human beings build dams too but for different reasons and not necessarily environmental ones. So beavers were probably seen as bad in the past because they gnaw at trees until they fall over. The verb to gnaw, G-N-A-W, means to nibble and bite, like rats and mice might do in your house. So beavers gnaw at trees and cause them to fall over, but they don't stop there. They use the fallen tree trunk or log, L-O-G, to build those dams. And the dams hold back flowing water, creating ponds or small lakes or wetlands. 
What ecologists have found is that this activity of beavers is very beneficial for the landscape. It's good for the land. Beavers' dams mean that water is retained. It's held on the land for much longer. This makes wetlands, W-E-T-L-A-N-D-S, or watery land, in other words. Effectively, it's flooding, F-L-O-O-D-I-N-G, but in a good way. This flooding of the land gives opportunity for fish and frogs and insects and animals of different kinds to move in and to thrive. The verb to thrive, T-H-R-I-V-E, means to do well, to flourish, to grow vigorously, to be successful. That's to thrive. So the presence of beavers revives or revitalizes the land and allows other animals or other species, that's S-P-E-C-I-E-S, to move in, usually ones further down the food chain. And if you've got the return of lots of different animals and species that are appropriate to the environment or habitat, we call that biodiversity, B-I-O. D-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. Biodiversity is a wonderful thing and it's something that we've lost in many areas of the world, particularly in the UK, we're told. And this is of great concern environmentally. So wetlands also absorb carbon. They are a carbon sink, rather like trees. So they're good for the balance of carbon in the environment. But they also offer solutions to other pressing environmental concerns that we might have. Wetlands are a source of food for many animals. And the organisation called the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands says, Wetlands do more for humanity than all other ecosystems. And wetlands are one of the habitats that are disappearing at an alarming rate. So it's good to be able to restore some of them. Just a reminder here that if you want to carry on improving your English understanding and your speaking skills, your fluency in other words, we have hundreds of podcasts like this one. You can download them 50 at a time and there are lots of podcasts on our website at adeptenglish.com that you perhaps haven't heard before. They're no longer available online but you can get them on our courses page. Check that out at adeptenglish.com. So in areas where beavers have been reintroduced into the wild, a positive effect has been seen. Beavers offset the effects of farming, of agriculture on the landscape, and they help with some of the effects of climate change. Flooding is less likely in areas where there are beavers. The water is retained higher up on the land and is less likely to flood villages and towns downstream. Where has the reintroduction of beavers been done? Well, beavers can live in habitats like the UK, but the more widespread reintroduction of beavers has been done in the US and Canada. Originally, beavers were reintroduced because their numbers were very low and it was an attempt to boost the numbers of beavers, the beaver population. But through that reintroduction, it's become clear just how much beavers benefit the landscape, benefit the land. Beavers are much more successful at creating the sort of ecosystem where other animals can thrive, much better than any intervention that human beings could make. Beavers are messy. There's lots of rotting wood around, leaves, and they stir up the water all the time. This is just the kind of environment that other animals thrive in. So beavers create a suitable wetland environment much more effectively than any human beings could. In a time where there are more wildfires in the summer, the presence of beavers tends to ensure that the land is wetter. So wildfires are less of a problem in the summer because the land isn't so dry. Plants don't suffer from drought in the summer. That's D-R-O-U-G-H-T. And that's the noun we use to describe the situation where there's no water around in the summer. Plants and animals die because of drought, but less so where there are beavers around. Beavers work against drought conditions. Scientists are not saying that beavers should be reintroduced everywhere. Apparently, they were introduced to 
Chile and Argentina, places where beavers didn't naturally occur. And the result here was that because beavers have no natural predators, there are no bigger animals wanting to eat beavers, beaver numbers became too large. And actually their effect was a negative one. Forests died off as a result of beaver activity. So you have to understand nature and work with it, not against it. In areas where beavers do naturally occur, there are positive benefits from their reintroduction. These areas are Europe, Asia and North America. In the UK, beavers were hunted to extinction. That means until there were none left for their fur and for their meat in the 1700s. That's a long time ago. But recently beavers have been reintroduced in the UK in places like Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire, Montgomeryshire and the Isle of Wight. Beavers from conservation sanctuaries have been released back into the wild and they're doing a great job of restoring wetlands, boosting biodiversity and preventing flooding in towns and villages nearby. What wonderful animals beavers are. Who knew? These toothy little creatures amazingly build dams that can be up to five metres tall and nearly a kilometre in length. No wonder we say busy as a beaver and no wonder we have a verb to beaver away, meaning to work hard. Enough for now. Have a lovely day. Speak to you again soon. Goodbye. Thank you so much for listening. Please help me tell others about this podcast by reviewing or rating it. And please share it on social media. You can find more listening lessons and a free English course at adeptenglish.com.